There are many titles given to the Blessed Mother. Here in this church, we see the statue of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, who this day we celebrate today, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. We also see Our Lady of Guadalupe, whose feast is coming up this Thursday. But we also see a painting, or a rendering of a painting, uh, at the base of the statue of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It's called Our Lady Untire of Knots. Our Lady Undoer or Untire of Knots. I think there are many, each title that the Blessed Mother enjoys is a source of inspiration and a source of meditation and reflection. Certainly on this Feast of the Immaculate Conception, we think of how Mary from all eternity was in the design of God, destined to be the Immaculate Mother of God, freed from original sin in her mother's womb, so that without stain of sin, she would be a fit tabernacle for the Son of the Most High, Feast of the Immaculate Conception. But also when I think of Mary, I, I love to think of her in terms of the, the devotion to her under the title, Our Lady Untire of Knots. And I think it's worth remembering if you know this story, and if you don't, well, you hear it for the first time. In the 1700s, there was a man in Germany by the name of Johann Schmittner. Johann Schmittner was an artist, and he painted that painting, and that's a copy, of Our Lady and Tire of Knots. And it depicts Mary untying knots of a, of a ribbon given to her. And what that beckons or calls, recalls to mind is a quotation from the great Saint Irenaeus, who was one of the fathers of the church who lived around the year 200, around 200, he wrote this. He said, as our mother Eve tied a knot to her disobedience, our mother Eve, Adam and Eve, through Eve, she tied a, a knot of disobedience. So Mary, to her obedience, to Mary, our mother, to her obedience, she's untied that knot. What is that knot? That knot, of course, is rebellion. That knot is defiance against God. That knot is sin. That's not, that knot is anything that stands in our way of coming to terms with the peace that God alone can give. There are a lot of knots in our lives. And I think it's worth reflecting on this Advent season about the knots in our lives and about that painting by Schmittner that Mary wants to untie the knots, the entanglement of our lives. I remember when I was a child, I used to try to tie my shoes and I'd always bungle it and I'd, I'd tie the knot too tight so, so sometimes the knot was almost as big as my fist. And of course, I couldn't untie my shoe, so I'd always go to my mother. My mother would sit, sit me on her lap and very carefully and gently untie the knot. And that's the role of Mary, to take you and me, her children, place us on her knee, and with us look at the knots entangling our lives. And through her prayers and intercession, helping us to untie, untangle the knots in our lives. Those knots uh, could be sin, certainly. Important to look at what entangles our lives. Addiction sometimes. Compulsions. Capital sins, pride, envy, anger, avarice, lust, gluttony, sloth. Any one of those can entangle our lives. Sometimes in our relationships, we, we find ourselves entangled in, in ways that are not godly. Sometimes we get entangled with possessions or things that can be dangerous to us and entangle our lives. What is it in our lives that cause us to be all tangled up spiritually on the inside? It's those things that Mary, the untire of knot, knots, the Immaculate Mother of God, wants to untie for us this Advent. So, my brothers and sisters, on this Feast of the Immaculate Conception, we come before the Lord to think about those knots. What are the knots in my life? The story about this Our Lady of Knots, some years ago, 
there was a man who had marital problems and uh, he couldn't get up beyond the problems that he was having with his wife. And so he went to a priest who had a great devotion to Our Lady and Tire of Knots. And he explained how his life had become entangled through problems and struggles and trials and temptations with his wife. And his wife was about to leave him. And he asked the priest what he, what he should do. And the priest said, let's begin by praying to Our Lady, untire of knots. And the priest prayed that the, that the Blessed Mother would pray for this man and his marriage, that the knots that had been tied up in his relationship would be un, unloosened, would be loosened. And so they prayed together, and he went home, and so the story goes, his life was turned around, and his marriage was saved. You and I, no matter who we are, have a, an entanglement or two within us. Mary is calling us this Advent. Come, as a child sitting on his mother's lap, let me untangle the bondage, the bonds that are holding you in captivity. Help me to pray that you might be 